So I really just want to take a moment here to review the difference between our saurish and dinosaurs and our ornithish and dinosaurs. First of all, our saurish and dinosaurs evolved first. They appear much earlier. And our ornithish and dinosaurs evolved second. We see our saurishans evolve in the Triassic, and our ornithish and dinosaurs evolve in the Jurassic. Now, it all lies in the hips. Every animal has the same three bones in their hips. We have the same three on each side to make six. The top bone is the ilium. That's the bone, if you're skinny enough, right, you can feel your hip bone. In humans, the pubis and the ischium comes around to make uh, a basket. Now, in our saurish and dinosaurs, the important difference here, actually, between the saurishians and the ornithischians is the pubis bone. So, the word anterior means towards the head. So, the head of the dinosaur is this way, the tail is this way. Okay? So, these hips are both facing in the same direction. So, in a saurishian dinosaur, the pubis points forwards. In an ornithischian dinosaur, the pubis has rotated and the pubis points backward. So it's a pretty easy difference there. It's pretty obvious to tell the difference between the two. Now where the confusion can come in is where birds sit. We know birds are, are evolved from dinosaurs. Now long before we knew that birds evolved from dinosaurs, we named these two groups of dinosaurs. We named saurischians after lizards, because lizards have this hip pattern today. We named ornithischians after birds, because birds have this hip pattern today. However, birds did not evolve from ornithischians. Birds evolve from saurischian dinosaurs. So don't let that confuse you. So hopefully understanding the difference there in between which direction the pubis is pointing helps you understand the differences between the two groups of dinosaurs.